All right, very quick and simple. We are reviewing the Ocean Battle Pass skin from Season 3. She is a Tier 1 skin. She does have an additional edit style by completing six of your weekly challenges. We will be going over the default and the Riptide helmet on helmet off for all of her cosmetics here. We have outfit combos and back bling combos. So with that being said, let's get sweaty. She is part of the Ocean Rising set. All right, starting with the wrap. It has an interesting tan slash sand color. I guess you can call it sand. And then like a nice animation near the barrel on all these weapons here. The interesting thing about this skin is she does not have a mask edit style for her default style. But then the other two edit styles actually have the ability for helmet on or helmet off, which I find a little strange. Also, all of the edit styles um, on her set with different items are a different edit style name. We'll get to that very soon. This is the top sale default style. It just looks like it's homemade. I kind of like it. It reminds me of like Waterworld stuff or I believe it's like Universal Studios or somewhere has like a Waterworld live performance and they have like, I don't know, crafts that kind of zoom across like the, the acting portions of the stage and stuff. I don't know. It's a pretty interesting skin nonetheless. Now we do have the ability for either two-handed dualies here or a single two-handed, um, they call it a truncheon, I believe. Equip and equip. Kind of small. They're made out of pipes though, which I do like quite a bit. So let's get to the truncheon edit style for this harvesting tool. So this is obviously a really great idea to have the ability to have either two uh, one-handers or one two-hander for your harvesting tool but the only problem is they still treat this as a dual harvesting tool when you do the pointed out emote so keep that in mind it, it's it is a single two-hander but it's treating it as um two dualies still so when you point it out you will only get the default pickaxe i just thought i would show you guys that because that's pretty interesting to me so we have a few skins here with the original edit style on her back bling, and I'm mostly focusing on the main color of her back bling, like the base color, not the little accessories. Now there's a little bit of a stretch with some teal colors that I use with the can, and I believe it's a knee pad on top, but I wouldn't get too distracted. Here's her other edit style as well. I wouldn't get too distracted with the accessories. This just kind of makes sense. It does look like a diver's backpack. I don't know. There's a lot of stuff on there. Scuba Jonesy looking real nice as well with like that purple gradient. We can actually sew him with his mask on, which is, I think is really cool. Kind of looks more aggressive to me. We have Crystal, which is probably one of the strongest ones because the gradient goes very well with her shirt she's wearing. Xena just looks like a tropical skin. I could see her wearing this. Probably not with her jacket on. I would go with the default style here. Bull Shark. Again, this is where I stretched the color of the can and the knee pad to go with the teal on his gradient. Beach Bomber, Beach Vibes, it makes sense. Airheart, it matches her shirt very well, but doesn't really make sense. <laughs> I'll admit that, that does not make sense. And then the Rec Raider, but my strongest one here probably, even though it is classified as a sweaty skin, sorry, on hell, is Crystal. I think the gradient on the shirt it's 10 out of 10. Moving on to back blings, or you can actually wear on ocean here. We have, I believe, 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. We got the frozen red shield here. The six string. Balloon Llama kind of reminds me of a pool floaty. Obviously, we have the other edit style for her, which we're going to get to very quick for the gameplay. The board bag. It's got the colors. It's fine. Bright bag. Quack pack. One of my favorites. It just, she has a little bit of yellow on her necklace. That's definitely a stretch, but it kind of matches the water vibe. Puncture pack has that turquoise. Pride pack is going to look really cool when she has the mask on. We'll get to that with the new edit style as well. Diving tank makes sense. Deep dive back bling makes sense. We have other styles here, which that one doesn't look too bad. I like the chrome canister, silver canister. That one looks great on her too. A light deep dive edit style. And then the canister carrier. So as long as you did six weekly challenges, you will get edit styles for all of these items that I'm currently have equipped here. So this is the Riptide Ocean edit style. She has the ability to have the helmet on or the helmet off. Keep in mind, this is the actual helmet from the Ghost Brutus. You can see it in the cinematic that I'm gonna show you here. 
she actually uppercuts him and takes his helmet and then obviously she designed it with some of her own like personality and flair with the like the flowers on it etc the back bling edit style is not called Riptide Ocean. It is called the Storm Beachcomber. This is the Aqua edit style for the Tide Axes. And then this is the Tropical edit style for the Top Sail. They're all named something different, but they're all the same edit style theme. So with that being said, let's see what it looks like in game. I actually really enjoy this edit style. The dualies are slightly different in color. We have the same sound here. We also have the ability to have it a single two-hander as well. Keep that in mind. Same weapon wrap as before. And I love the helmet. I know it's from Beach or Beach Brutus, Ghost Brutus. But the fact that her hair sticks through it is really cool. I love that she has her own personality kind of painted on there. This is the tropical edit style for the top sail. It's nice. I like the interaction with the wings too. Going forward, going back left and right there's a small little contrail it's more of like an air contrail like a spectral sense and uh yeah this is a really cool edit style to me again we don't have a helmet on or helmet off option for the default base edit style which kind of sucks all right so now we have the tide truncheon aqua edit style on for her harvesting tool um i just i just i love this addition to dual harvesting tools in this season it is so cool and then obviously we have the same edit style color we just have the helmet off this is the riptide ocean edit style and still the same weapon wrap that is made in her ocean rising set all right a handful of backlinks here i'm using her helmet on edit style i just think it gives it a little bit more character a little bit more aggressive in my personal opinion we'll show you the other edit style here the default one but um there's one combo that i really this one kind of gets lost almost one combo that i'm really really excited about because it goes perfectly uh with like the balance of white on her helmet this one right here uzi i just think that one looks really good even the little the pump color is almost the same yellow as the design and then we have the white and pink obviously that's my favorite one for sure we have the ghost kabag here the infatuation back and then this is kind of like a troll one for Oki. I don't know why I bought this cat, but there it is. So you're probably wondering, what can I wear with the Beachcomber back bling? Well, let me show you. The only thing I will say about this back bling in general is it can look a little messy depending on what you're wearing. Like it looks messy on Singularity, not even gonna lie. Aerobic Assassin here. It's one of those back blings that just looks kind of like unorganized. Everything was just thrown together on it. So if that bothers you, it might not look the best on some very clean, sleek looking outfits like Singularity. I mean, the color scheme was pretty much there. We got Susan in the house. The color scheme was there. Jade Racer, like it looks really dirty on her. I'm not going to lie. That was definitely a stretch. We got Beach Bomber. The original Abachi style. And then Synth Star. And I actually want to show you it on Iris because it's kind of the same color scheme. I know I used the back bling on the skin, but it's almost the same color scheme as that purplish blue and then pink. It's very close. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this little review on the Ocean Battle Pass skin. Like on the video is always appreciated. Subscribing is free. That is P-I-Z-Zero and Item Shop. And we'll see you nerds on the live stream. See ya.